righty. So today we're going to be going over a little mini toolkit that I've come up with. I've been exploring uh, many different options for an all-in-one mini toolkit, EDC toolkit, uh, using a few different uh, pouches and organizers. I've really come to like these Maxpedition organizers. The one we're using today is the uh, Maxpedition Mini. I had in the past looked at the Maxpedition Micro. Um, it is more of a pocket size, even for like a standard jean pocket. This you could get by with putting in a pocket for a cargo pants or something like that. But it is a little bit bulky. You can see I've kind of got it stuff to the max but i couldn't hardly get everything i wanted for a true everyday carry toolkit uh, something i could actually rely on to do a lot of different jobs i know a lot of people use these smaller pouches like this maxpedition micro i really like it. its thin profile uh, for these pocket toolkits everyday carry toolkits but i felt like i was going with a lot of really really small almost to the point of unusable unusable for a reasonable everyday carry so i did go a little bit bigger with this maxpedition mini again you're sort of limited to what you how, where you can carry this at and i found that it becomes more of a in the dash type carry than i actually on my person uh, typically if i go on a trip i put this in the Front of the car now i do have a bigger toolkit of course in the back to handle any major jobs i come across but i've got this set up to handle most small jobs uh, that i may come across during the day uh, and at home too if i go outside or do any kind of work outside i normally bring this little kit with me so let's go over this kit a little bit more i'll put the, i'll show you sort of what this has become too maybe later in the video but uh, starting out with this kit i do have you can see a few things on the outside I've got a straight, it's just a cobalt extension. It's got a little bit of knurling on it, you can see uh, on the outside here. And we'll get into what the uses of that is later. The extension is a close to six inch extension, a little five three quarters. So I do keep that on the outside just because it is a little long for the inside. You could put it in there, but I'll show you the dimensions of this particular bag is right at four inches by six, roughly. Again, the width, you're looking at maybe close to three inches once it's really maxed out, anywhere from two and a half to three inches. Just depends on how far you max this thing out. I've really got it, you can tell, tight right now. Staying in the front of the bag, I do have a pair of needle nose combination pliers by Knipex. This is the 0821 145s. They do have a good needle nose on there, plenty good enough fine point. They do have a uh, round opening you could use for gripping a bolt, cutters. And they are really capable as far as gripping. I uh, use these quite a bit and I really like them. And of course, the Knipex quality, you can see they're just incredibly smooth set of pliers. Really happy with these for a good all around pair of pliers. And they are, you can see, they feel your hand out pretty good. They're not like a small, just unusable set of pliers. They are still usable. Um, I could probably fit these inside the pouch, but I've got quite a few things inside the pouch and they tend to rest good on the outside here. But flip it over, I do have a few zip ties in the back. I have, these are just a standard size zip tie and I did cut them off to fit in the back. I'd rather do that than use the really mini zip ties. I feel like these are a little bit more capable, but they rest pretty good in the back and you can see they kind of stop in that Molly webbing. This pouch does have some molly on the back and this grab handle. Uh, really high quality pouches. They do have YKK zippers on them as well. So let's get into the contents inside the bag. Alrighty. So you can see we pretty well got this thing stuffed to the brim. Uh, we'll start left to right. I do have 
a little Craftsman quarter inch ratchet. I really like this one because it's low profile and thin. It fit good in the bag. High tooth count, does have the quick release. Seems to be a pretty good quality ratchet. Also, to go with the ratchet in the back back here, I do have a socket set. Multiple sizes. I do have a full quarter inch metric stubby gear wrench set. Uh, that's what most of these are. You can see how, how low profile and stubby they are. I do have a universal joint in here. And this set actually goes up to, you can see it here, a 15 millimeter, which is about the extent of what you can get out of a quarter inch set. So I'm really happy with that. And these little rubber holders, I actually got with a cheaper Stanley set of sockets that I got at Tractor Supply on a sale. It come with, I think, a, a screwdriver, small socket set, and a little adapters and stuff to make kind of like a nut driver handle out of. But I've really liked these little holders for the sockets. And of course, you probably recognize this if you see these other EDC kits. This is originally a Makita Impact socket holder, quarter inch impact. But I've actually got rid of the uh, impact sockets from this set. They are still in my other sets I use here at home. But I've put these uh, chrome, most of these is actually the SAE Cobalt quarter inch sockets. That's what the biggest size I got up on them. I believe it's nine sixteenths. Yeah, nine sixteenths. So I've got a lot of the common sizes here too. Anything I might see in SAE. And I do occasionally run across some SAE stuff. Because I do have some um, lawn care equipment and tillers for the garden and things like that. Um, wheel hole, house tools, wheel hole. It does still have some SAE stuff on it that I do occasionally use around the house. And I do have a quarter inch to three eighths adapter. Also have this little uh, quarter inch hex to a quarter inch square adapter in here. And then the other way, I've got a uh, quarter inch square to quarter inch hex. Uh, I believe this is a Giador, good German company. Also in that set, so pretty good full quarter inch socket set to go along with the quarter inch ratchet. And also, it's also very familiar in these EDC kits. You see a lot. I've got the Knipex, the small cobra pliers the 8701125s great set of pliers i ain't gonna go on and on about this because you do see them about every kit you see uh, people do reviews on but you can see the opening on these great set of pliers definitely an important part of the kit i do also i'll show you the use for these later keep a set of these quarter inch hex drill bits in various sizes within the kit too. I've got a 332nd, 1 8th, and 1 16th. And I can add this to this and use the ratchet if I needed to, uh, to start a little pilot hole. And I'll show you another use for this here in a minute. But I do have these uh, quarter inch drill bits and they're really nice and impact too. This kit can supplement an impact too. Also, I got a T27 Torx in here. You might wonder why I have a T27 long Torx. About everything I own as far as yard tools, uh, main lawn maintenance equipment, stuff like that is steel. Steel chainsaws, steel leaf blowers, steel. Um, weed eaters and a lot of them uses this t27 and a lot of their um, screws to disassemble them so i keep a t27 in here because i find myself needing that a lot and here's uh my remaining socket six millimeter socket to finish out our sets here and i do have it stored on a little short wobble extension and here in the middle 
I do have a little bit longer wobble extension. This one is a four inch wobble. So we do have multiple extensions. You can see all the different capabilities we have of this. I mean, what are you looking at there? Not counting the socket. A little over 11 inches, 11 and a half inches worth of extension. So, I mean, you can see how capable that'll be in a little kit like this. Also on this side, I do keep a, little, a few little wire nuts in here. Just for a little minor, minor electrical repairs. And I'll show you some other stuff that'll go along with that in the rest of the kit. To finish out my socket set, I know my socket, my quarter inch socket set only goes up to 15 millimeter. Uh, as far as the metric, I do have a stubby 17 millimeter wrench here, a Craftsman and a 19 millimeter wrench. You say, well, you can't really um, handle those size bolts with these stubby wrenches, but you can you know, interlock them. And Get more leverage out of it and sort of the same thing with the ratchet if you need to get more leverage out of the ratchet you can add the wrench get a little bit more leverage so really handy tools to have like this you can really get a lot of leverage like that so finishes out the set get a little bit more leverage uh, if you're in the in a bind that you're needing this quarter inch ratchet, I know it won't take the torque of probably all of that, but if it's disposable, if you absolutely have to have it at the time, then you can get you out of a bind. I also have the Knipex pliers wrench in here. It's the 8603125 paired with the Cobra. And again, I do prefer this, I think, over... Well, not for all cases, but in most cases over an adjustable wrench because you do have that, you see a cam in action. Really bites down on a boat. You can see, look what I open and left. To kind of fill in the gaps where I'm uh, lacking with, uh, especially with the SAE as far as size, just to kind of fill in some of them gaps. Now, here's another little neat trick. Um, really handy. On this... It's actually an old pin. I've got uh, electrical tape, rubber bands, masking tape, and some thread tape on here. Storage really easy on that. If you need to use it, you can put it on something. Use this to kind of roll around. Really handy and might be enough to get you out of a bite sometime. Also, I got this at Harbor Freight. Just a little thing of war. Really handy pair with this. Um, also get you out of a bind. You just never know when you're going to need this stuff. War, tape, and disposable. Now here's where the rest of these extensions come in. What I was talking about earlier. This this is a Vera. Vera Tools. This is a German company. I think this might be made in the Czech Republic. This particular one. But uh, this combined with this long straight extension. Well, now you've got a T-handle. So if you're, say you're working on that we was talking about earlier steel tools well, now look what a t-handle you've got better get some leverage on that and uh, also use it with your sockets use your gear door a quarter inch squared a quarter inch hex adapter now you can really drill a hole out if you need to start a pilot hole whatever you need to do lots of versatility in this kit Lots of versatility. Back here, getting into that too, I do have some bits. Here's some common ones. You know, you got your number two, number one Phillips. That's some uh, slotted. And then back in here, I've got a wide array of bits. Everything from torques up to T40. Uh, hex, I have some hex bits in here common hex bits. I uh, got a few more wire nuts. Got a couple of common Allen wrenches in here. All in this little baggy stuff back here in the back. 
there's something else too. I took a small wire brush and I cut it off to fit this kit. You can see, really handy. Say so you got some battery terminals, got some corrosion on them. You get off there, just some bolts you need to clean up, something you need to clean up. You got a wire brush in there. Now this is probably not exactly a necessary part of this kit, but I've got a couple of these uh, handles like this. It does have the option to put your ratchet in the back, get a little bit extra torque on it. This one's actually a Stanley Proto. I'll show you how that works. I get a little more torque on it. Serves as an extension, serves as a handle. Now it does have a quarter inch nut driver on the front. So you can get your quarter inch sockets. Works as a nut driver. Or I can again use that gear door. Square to hex adapter. Now I've got a screwdriver. And with all of these bits, look at all that versatility. And continue, you can use a T handle on it if you need a little bit more leverage. I mean, just so many options with this. The versatility. Now that clears out the inside of the pouch. You can see on the inside of the pouch, it did have a little like a little key keeping thing here, a little lanyard. I did cut that off. Didn't see that I really used it much. You do have this over here if you need to hang something. But you got all these pouches, real good elastic. And you see this is what it actually looks like with everything out of it. Now one last thing I got here in the front, it's kind of unique to my kit, is a leather strap, a little piece of leather. I always carry a knife. This is a Benchmade 940. And I found a lot of times that if I get, get the knife dull, rather than sharpening it, if I got a strop with me, I can just you put it in your hand, you can put it on your leg, wherever, put it on a, put it on a table, and just strop it back to sharp. And that'd be all you'll need to get a knife back to a good working order. Rather than having to get a sharpener out, sharpen it, go through two, two or three stages of that, then strop it. If you'll not let your knife get completely dull, and you can a lot of times drop it back to that razor edge. But that's it. That's the whole kit. You can see it fits a lot of stuff in this little pouch. If you enjoyed this content, you want to see more content like it, just give us a subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you next time.